Hi everyone, I'm Natalie, aka The Vegan Veteran. I wanted to do a bit of an update video on some new products that I've been using. Um, I'm trying to branch out a little bit because I'm conscious that as I'm doing more of these videos, I'm tending to talk about the same companies over and over again, um, which is, you know, partially because they produce good quali quality products. Um, but maybe also, you know, I've fallen into a bit of a rut with some of the products I use. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to sort of branch out, try some different things. Um, it probably goes without saying, um, and maybe it's obvious from, you know, the quality of the production <laughs> of my videos and also the fact that I don't have very many subscribers at this stage. Um, but I don't get any money for the videos I produce, you know, so this is this is purely just my own opinions about different products that I'm trying um, and hopefully, you know, they'll help you if so that you don't waste your money if there's a product that's maybe not quite what you're looking for. Um, but please do, you know, if you have any questions about the products, please do um, feel free to comment on the videos. So uh, I'm going to post a couple of these, but the first one is a brand um, about a brand I've been using called Curl Smith. Um, now I kept getting adverts on Facebook, um, specifically targeting kind of curly hair products. Um, and I don't know if you've seen them as well, but like the hair washes that you can get that aren't shampoos, they're like conditioning washes. Um, and the brands that were being targeted initially. Uh, said they were vegan but they didn't have vegan society approval or anything like that so I went to the vegan society website where they have a product search and I started just doing a bit of research and I found Curl Smith who do the same sort of products but they are vegan society approved um, now I think I, I have posted the link to the vegan society's product search before but i'll post it again um because it's a really good way to find new products um if you're looking for anything in particular but i wanted to just sort of show you the products i've been using um there's plenty of other videos online of people using these products as well um so if you want more details but i just wanted to kind of give you my perspective on them um, so the first thing I've done is I've, I've already washed my hair with their conditioning wash. So this is their conditioning wash here. Um, you don't need very much of this at all. Um, this one is, this size is £21. Um, and I think you can get a smaller one for £10. If you just want to try it out, that might be a really good way to do it. Um, all of their products generally come in two or three different sizes and they all seem to start around the £10 mark. And you do have to buy, like, generally, I think, about three products because you need the conditioning wash and then you need a couple of different styling products depending on what your hair is like. Um, so, yeah, doing, like, the smaller sizes might be a good way just to sort of try it out and see if it's right for you. So the conditioning wash... Um, it's kind of part way between a shampoo and conditioner. I mean, it feels more like a conditioner. It doesn't lather when you put it in your hair. Um, you just kind of, you don't need very much at all. So maybe like, and I mean, I have thick hair, like I probably have the amount of hair of two or three normal people. And I use, I don't know, like maybe like a 50 pence piece worth work it into my hair, work it into the scalp, kind of massage it in like you would a shampoo, but then it doesn't lather. Um, the, I think the instructions don't say to comb it through, but then I generally comb it through with a wide tooth comb, leave it on for like two or three minutes and then wash it out. Um, and then you don't have to, but what I've started following it up with, because you might remember from... Um, the episode where I talked about my like general hair products that I've used over the years, I really love a, um, a, a deep conditioning mask um, because my hair is so dry. So I've been trying 
their conditioning mask as well. So this one is Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. Now this one is £10 again for a small, £24 for the larger. I think this one's the larger. Hang on, let me check that. 227. Yeah, yeah. So this is the larger size. Um, and it says to just, again, I, I put it in and then comb it in. And it says to leave in, I think, for about 15 minutes. I left this one in overnight last night. Um, and then I've just rinsed it off a minute ago in the shower. Um, and um, yeah, it's really, really good in terms of, I mean, I, I love all conditioning masks, but it's, it's a really good one. Um, so that's, that's kind of the preamble to what I've been doing, what I'm going to be doing now. And then I've tied my hair up in this towel, which is by another company called, um, I don't know how you pronounce this, but Boclin, um, B-O-U-C-L-E-M-E. Uh, this towel is £25. It's a cotton towel and it's made specifically for curly hair. Um, I bought this originally to do a technique called hair plopping. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but if you, um, on YouTube, if you search for hair plopping, you'll see loads of videos of people doing it. And um, basically what it is, is you, when you've washed your hair and put all your products in and whatever else, it's, a way to kind of tie your hair up overnight you I guess it's called plopping because you kind of lower your hair into the towel and then you do this fancy little tie um, and go to bed and then in the morning you wake up with really nice curls um, it works quite well um, I have found with the Curl Smith products actually it's better to um to use the products and then just let my hair dry naturally so at the moment i'm tending to wash my hair in the morning and then just let it dry throughout the day um now at the moment that's convenient because um we're still kind of in lockdown well not lockdown but i'm working from home um and if i have like a zoom call i just kind of tie it up so people can't tell that it's wet i hope uh, <laughs> so that's kind of convenient but maybe when i go back to work i might start to do the hair plopping thing again so that my hair's kind of dry by the morning um i generally find heat treating my hair isn't isn't a good way to go now these towels as i said they're cotton so the idea is they're not adding any frizz um I think they are they are obviously quite expensive for what they are. The other thing that you can do, which which I did do at first, um, just to kind of make sure that it was the right sort of technique for me before I ended up before I started like spending money on it, um, was you can you can use like a t-shirt um, and get the same effect, uh, and it works particularly well if you can get a larger t-shirt. So if you if you use like um, if you can steal like a boyfriend's or a brother's t-shirt that's that's generally a really good size um to use but but yeah so once i realized that that hair plopping was something i wanted to do long term uh, i decided it was worth investing in in one of these but you can try the t-shirt technique first and again just search on youtube you'll find loads of people doing it um but today i've just used that just to remove the excess moisture from my hair and get it out of the way while I was waiting to um, to film this. So then I've got two styling products that I'm going to be using. One's um, kind of like a gel, but it's 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 a very light weight gel. It doesn't leave your hair like really really crunchy or anything. And the other one is a well, it's called a a balm. Um, so you put that on when your hair's a bit more dry. And what you do, their website's really helpful on the Carl Smith website. I'll paste a link. Um, there's a bit that you go to where you just kind of say what your hair's like. So whether it's curly or wavy or whatever. And then it will tell you which products it recommends. So I put in curly. Although I suppose my hair is kind of somewhere, because it's not, you know, it's obviously not like really tight curls. So I probably could have used the wavy products as well, I guess. But I wanted more of a curly finish. Um, but it will tell you 
exactly which products to get and I think the conditioning wash is just standard um I should say it doesn't say to comb your hair with a wide tooth comb before using but I've always found over the years that that just stops my hair going frizzy um, so I'm just going to comb it through before I put anything in and then I'm going to separate it into three sections ultimately but what I've got at the moment so this is like a third of my hair on this side and I'm just going to pin the rest out the way with a clip and then I'm going to separate some of my hair off here so this is so putting this one of these third sections into half and pinning this bit out of the way and I've just found this is this is kind of a good amount but again I've got quite thick hair so you might you might be able to get away with just putting it into three um so the first product I'm going to use is this curl defining souffle now this is the large size which is £35, again their smallest is 10 and you can see that's really big. Um, so the, the one I had, I'm not sure, the first one I had, I'm not sure if it's the smallest size they have or whether it was medium, but it was maybe like this big and it was like a, a tub rather than a bottle and that's lasted me absolutely ages. I was trying to find the original email um, where I ordered these products the first time round because although they are expensive, I mean, you'll see when I get them out, you don't need very much and they last a really long time. So I think in terms of value for money, um, I don't know whether you're saving money, but I, I think it probably doesn't work out being any more expensive than um, using normal products like from the supermarket or whatever. It's just that you'd use much more of those products. Um, so I'll get a little bit out and show you. So you see there, that's the amount I'm using for one section um, and just rub it in my hands and then what it says to do on the website is to use what it calls the praying praying man technique so you just or praying hand technique so you just like keep your hands together like this and rub it through and then scrunch it And then I'll just do the next section. So again, just not a huge amount. I guess that's what, like a 10p piece kind of size. Apologies if you can hear. I think Joe's downstairs on a Zoom call. I didn't think I'd be able to hear him from up here, but he's louder than I thought. We've been driving each other crazy because we um we share an office and we're right sort of adjacent to each other and when we're both on the phone <coughs> it's really hard like trying to concentrate and we both think that we're both really quiet um but obviously when you're on the phone you you think you're a lot quieter than you actually are so I'm just going to do the back section now. So again, I'm splitting that into two and rubbing it through. I was intending, I've not been, work's been a bit manic in the run up to Christmas. Um, and I was originally intending to do um, a Christmas episode and kind of talk to you about... Um, about sort of you know what I have for Christmas dinner and you know different different brands and things and then I wasn't sure really what to do because it's just exploded this year and the supermarkets have got so much additional vegan stuff that I was like actually is this even really needed and then just before Christmas there was obviously the announcement um and quite a lot of people didn't actually get to sort of spend christmas with their families so i wasn't too sure what to do really i mean i didn't see um my family are based down in kent so they went into tier four 
so I didn't manage to see them over Christmas. Um, we did get to see Jay's mum and dad because we were, our, we and them were both in lower tiers, so that was okay. But for this last section, because I've I've got a side parting, this is much less hair on this side, so I haven't bothered to section mark. And then again, just kind of scrunch it in. So yeah, you can see you don't need like very much really. Um, so just kind of scrunch that. And then I'll just let that dry naturally for the next sort of few hours. Um, and when it's still, so what does it actually say on the back of this? So it says scrunch, so this next product it says to scrunch into damp hair so I, I usually let um, my hair dry for a good hour or so before I use this next product and this is called Hold Me Softly Style Balm. Um, now the largest size which I also have here because when I ordered more of this stuff I ordered more of the Style Balm as well but I haven't had to open it yet because the first lot I've bought is lasting so long. Um, but this is the largest size and this is £35 again. Um, but this smaller one, so how big is this? I'm not sure whether this is the smallest or whether it's the medium. I think it's probably the medium, but the smallest is £10 again. Um, so I'm not going to scrunch that in now because my hair's not, not dry enough to. But like I say, once it's, um, once it's kind of damp, what I would do then is just split it into three sections but I wouldn't bother halving it. This would be fine, this amount of hair. Um, squeeze out, I don't know, maybe like a, a 10p piece for each of the three sections. Just work it into my hands and scrunch it in. Um, and then again, just leave my hair to dry naturally. Um, and yeah, and I've, I've been really impressed with these products. Um, I mean, I'm conscious that they're not cheap, but like I say, I think they are, I think they are good value for money. Um, and I've really noticed a difference in my hair. I think it really helps using products that are specifically for curly hair because it is so different um, to straight hair in terms of, you know, what it needs. Like generally curly hair is a lot drier. It just feels like it needs a lot more care. Um, and these products are very kind of nourishing. Um, so I, I think they're really good and I would recommend them um, if you have curly hair and you you have the same kind of problems as me in terms of dryness and frizz and all that kind of stuff. But I will post a link to their website. I'll post some links to the products, but I'll also post a link to the part of the website that tells you which products to use depending on what your hair type is. Um, so I hope that was useful and let me know what you think and if you do purchase the Carl Smith products how you get on with them. Thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Bye!